Rapper, singer, songwriter, and producer Rico Love grew up here in Milwaukee, and he says he's flat out disgusted with the ongoing gun violence in the city. During my interview, he shared his candid thoughts on what can be done by the hip-hop industry. <laughs> crime scene after crime scene this summer in Milwaukee, and now a hometown artist is speaking out. We sat down and spoke with Rico Love this weekend while in town for a performance at a local nightclub. So I want you to do me a favor. I want you to require more from the artists that come Love says aggressive language used in rap songs is not a direct blame for gun violence, but says hip hop artists can do more because much of the youth committing these crimes look up to them. It's confusing. The kid don't understand because that's, when you come back one point one time a year and say, um, guys, it's wrong to kill. But then 364 days of the year, your music is saying the, the total opposite. Um, it's not a consistent message. He used examples of how the group NWA kept their messages clear to young people. And when NWA made the, you know, the police song, right? In the verses, they were explaining about the injustice that was going on in the community. What would you say to young people who feel confused, who selling drugs, picking up guns, doing all kinds of nonsense? What would you say to a young person directly? Jay-Z is like one out of a billion. The young guy who became this drug dealer and ended up rapping and then changed his life and ended up buying a basketball team is one in a billion. But Jay-Z will tell you it is hundreds and thousands of his friends who didn't make it that way and who died and went to prison. Now, as far as helping the community directly, Rico Love tells me he's working on a nonprofit program called No Child Left Out. It will focus on resources for young people who have children too soon. Love says that's another reality that needs to be addressed.